Hello, I'm Sebastian Kaskov, and here's some stuff I've made. I started by integrating circuitry into Legos, which I used as practice to make an affordable automated gate for my chickens, keeping them safe at night to this day. Predators became a day problem, so to repel them, I used scrap material, hospital bed actuators, and C++-based Arduinos to make automated scarecrows, which moved randomly to frighten hawks. The best of them I repurposed into infiltration machines, helping my father get onto the HOV lane and avoided a lot of traffic during his commute to work. I made a few mobile games during COVID to teach myself Swift and Objective-C, my own websites to learn HTML and CSS, a computer game to understand Python, got my first job as a developer at a startup, and hacked a Tesla Cybertruck to perfect my Bluetooth skills. My school's robotics team noticed my work and, given the opportunity, I led them to win several state-level competitions and a few sponsors. I tried making rovers to help defend my chickens using a phone to emulate more expensive sensors, but larger models proved ineffective on harsh terrain. Shifting my approach, I taught myself CAD, made a few leg prototypes until they were able to actually hold their own weight, and with a few hundred lines of C++, I got the dog to walk. The joints kept shattering though, so I made a new kind of self-aligning opposite gear and on-shape, which served as an affordable substitute to just using metal parts. I implemented inverse kinematics instead of explicit angles, developed my own in-center balancing algorithm to handle intense conditions, and an advanced step cycle generator to walk smoothly. Since LiDAR is quite expensive, I used two cheap webcams for stereoscopic vision to distinguish edges, objects, and the distances to them. Two bunt microphones let my parents talk to the dog in German until it drowned on a beach. Holy! Several thousands of lines of Python later, an old Raspberry Pi, and a compliant battery pack made of salvage springs, the dog visited festivals, partnered with a recycling company, got into news headlines, and garnered a YouTube following. Now, I am building a 140-pound second joint base successor.